A new fighter jet engine is finished. It's real, it's secret, and it changes everything. Right now, in a facility in Israel, engineers have built something that makes every other fighter jet engine look old. This isn't a story about the future. This is happening now. And what it means for air power is so big, it's hard to even explain. But we're gonna try. Welcome to War Tech Zone. Today, we're talking about one of the most important military secrets to come out in years. Israel has just completed work on a breakthrough jet engine. When we say breakthrough, we mean it. This engine doesn't just make a plane a little faster or a little stealthier, it rewrites the rules. For the next 30 years, any country that wants to control the sky will have to answer a simple question. Do we have an engine like Israel's? And right now, the answer for almost everyone is no. So what's so special about it? Let's start with the basic problem every fighter jet has. An engine has to do three things. First, it has to be powerful, to give the jet crazy speed and the ability to climb fast. Second, it has to be stealthy. It can't give off a huge heat signature for missiles to see, and it can't be a big blip on radar. Third, it has to be efficient, so the jet can fly a long way without needing to refuel. For decades, engineers have said, pick two. You you can have power and stealth, but you'll burn fuel like crazy. You can have efficiency and stealth, but you won't be very fast. You can't have all three. It was like a law of physics. Israel's new engine, it breaks that law. Think about what that means for a pilot. Imagine you're flying a mission. You need to sneak deep into enemy territory, so you want to be invisible. With a normal engine, to be invisible, you'd have to fly slower and be careful with power. But with this new engine, you can fly in full stealth mode and still have massive power on tap if you need it. Then, if you get spotted and missiles come your way, you can hit a switch. The engine gives you a sudden, incredible burst of speed to get away, all while still being harder to see than any other jet. It's the ultimate combination. Power when you need it, and ghost-like silence when you don't. That's the promise. To understand why this is such a shock, you have to know Israel's history with planes. For a long time, Israel didn't build its own fighter jets from scratch. They became world-famous experts at taking American jets, like the F-15 and F-16, and making them better. They'd upgrade the radar, the computers, the weapons. They made good jets into great ones. But the heart of the jet, the engine, was always made by someone else. This new project is different. This is Israel saying, we don't just want to upgrade upgrade the body, we want to build the heart ourselves. And they didn't just build an engine, they built arguably the most advanced military aircraft engine on the planet. This shift from modifying to truly creating is a huge moment for their entire aerospace industry. So how did they do it? The details are classified, of course, but experts point to two big areas, new materials and a brilliant new design. First, the materials. The inside of a jet engine is one of the hottest places on Earth. Metals melt. So Israel's engineers use new kinds of ceramics and special metal mixtures. These materials can handle heat that would destroy a normal engine. It means the engine can run at a much higher, more powerful setting for much longer without braking. It's like the difference between a regular car engine and a race car engine built for endurance racing. The race car engine is built tougher from the start. Second, the design. Air flows through an engine in complex ways. Turbulence inside the engine is like driving a car with the parking brake partly on. It wastes energy. Israeli engineers found a way to smooth that airflow dramatically. Less turbulence means less wasted fuel and more power going straight to thrust. It also means less heat is generated by the friction. This is a big part of the stealth story. A cooler engine is a harder to find engine. Now let's talk about stealth, because this is where it gets really interesting. Stealth isn't just about the shape of the plane. For years, the biggest giveaway for a stealth jet has been its engine. The intake is a big hole that radar waves love to bounce off of, and the exhaust, where the super hot gases come out, is like a bright flashlight in the sky for heat-seeking sensors. Israel's engine tackles both problems head-on. The intake has a special shape and coating that sucks in air but scatters incoming radar waves waves, making it almost invisible. The exhaust uses a revolutionary cooling system that mixes 
compresses the hot gases with cool air from around the engine before they leave the plane. This drops the temperature so much that to an infrared missile, the jet looks like a faint blurry smudge instead of a clear hot target. This combination is a nightmare for enemy air defenses. But an engine by itself is just a piece of metal. It needs a plane. All signs point to this engine being the heart of Israel's own sixth generation fighter jet, a project often called the IAF Next Generation or something similar. This won't be a modified F-35. This will be a brand new plane built from the ground up to take full advantage of this engine's unique abilities. Every part of the plane, the wings, the weapons bays, the cockpit, will be designed to work in perfect harmony with this power powerhouse. This is how you build a jet that is more than the sum of its parts. It's how you build a legend. So what could this plane actually do? Let's paint a picture. A squadron of these Israeli fighters is on alert. A threat is detected hundreds of miles away, over the sea. They take off. Because the engine is so efficient, they can cruise a very long way without needing a tanker plane to refuel them. They fly low and fast, their engines in a quiet, efficient mode. Enemy radar screens might see a flicker, then and nothing, just a ghost signal they dismiss as a glitch. The jets penetrate deep into contested airspace, unseen. Their mission is reconnaissance, to take pictures and gather electronic signals. Suddenly, one of them detects a missile battery powering up, targeting them. Instantly, the pilots switch the engines to high-power combat mode. The response is violent and immediate. The jets shoot upwards, their acceleration unlike anything the enemy has seen. They release tiny drones to confuse fuse the enemy radar and launch their own missiles to destroy the battery, all in a matter of seconds. Then they drop back into stealth mode and disappear, leaving the enemy with only confusion and wreckage. This kind of mission flexibility, from spy to sniper to ghost, is what makes this technology so revolutionary. It's one plane doing the job of three. Now let's think bigger. What does this mean for Israel's safety and its position in the world? The Middle East is a tough neighborhood. Israel is small, surrounded by nations with much larger populations, and in some cases, large air forces filled with Russian and French-made jets. For decades, Israel's strategy has been quality over quantity. They have fewer jets, but their pilots are the best trained, and their technology is a generation ahead. This new engine pushes that idea to the extreme. It creates a quality gap that is so wide it might be impossible to cross for a very long time. An enemy with hundreds of older jets would face a terrifying problem. Their radars couldn't reliably see the Israeli fighters. Their heat-seeking missiles would struggle to lock on, and if they did get into a dogfight, the Israeli jets would be faster, could turn tighter, and could stay in the fight longer. In military terms, this is called overmatch. It's not just about winning a battle, it's about making an enemy think a battle is hopeless before it even begins. This engine is the ultimate tool of deterrence. It doesn't just defend Israel's airspace. It makes other countries think 10 times before ever challenging it. And the impact isn't just in the air. This technology creates huge questions for countries that sell weapons in the region. The United States has sold advanced F-35 jets to several Middle Eastern countries, with the promise that it was the most advanced plane they could get. But what if Israel now has a jet that is, in key ways, more more advanced than the F-35 because of this engine. It creates a delicate situation. America's other allies will want this technology, but Israel will be very careful about who it shares its crown jewel with. This one engine could reshape diplomatic and military alliances across the globe. But perhaps the most frightening idea for Israel's adversaries isn't about fighter jets at all. It's about drones. Israel is already the world's leading exporter of military drones. Imagine taking this same engine technology and scaling it down for an unmanned aircraft. You could create a drone with the stealth of a fighter jet and the endurance to stay in the air for two or three days, a silent, invisible watcher that never gets tired. Or you could create a loyal robotic wingman for a man fighter. The pilot flies his advanced jet, and two or three of these drone wingmen fly alongside him. They can carry extra missiles, act as decoys, or scout ahead. If a mission gets too dangerous, the pilot can send the drones in first. This creates a whole new kind of air force, a mix of man and machine that is incredibly smart, resilient, and powerful. So what happens next? The world's other great aerospace nations, the United States, China, Russia, and the UK with Europe, are all working on their own next-generation engines. They've just been given a way
wake-up call. The leaked news of Israel's success will pour fuel on their research programs. Budgets will be increased. Deadlines will be moved up. A secret global race for the next leap in propulsion just became a sprint, and Israel is currently in the lead. For the rest of the world's air forces, the equation is simple but expensive. They now have a new standard to meet. Their current plans for new jets might already be outdated. They will have to go back to the drawing board, demanding that their own scientists match what has been done. This engine isn't just a piece of technology, it's a benchmark. It's the finish line that everyone else is now racing towards. In the end, this story is more than engineering. It's about a small nation using its brains, its focus, and its need to survive to solve a problem everyone said was impossible. They looked at the trade-offs that had limited fighter jets for 50 years and found a new path. This engine is a tool for peace through strength. It gives Israel the ability to protect itself so completely that its enemies may finally decide that conflict is pointless. The age of the adaptive, intelligent, survivable fighter jet is here. And it started not in a giant superpowers lab, but in a workshop in Israel. The sky will never be the same. If you found this look into the future of air combat fascinating, do us a favor. Help us keep making videos like this. Hit the like button right now. It really supports the channel. And make sure you're subscribed to War Tech Zone so you don't miss our next breakdown. Let us know in the comments, how long do you think it will take for another country to catch up to this technology? Thanks for watching.